Rising mortgage rates, surging home prices, locking millions out of the American dream of owning their own home. Could 3D printed homes be the solution to affordable housing? CBS News correspondent Nancy Chen joins me now. And how does this even work, a 3D printed house? It's a good question, Alan. Good to be with you. Yeah, I mean, we've all seen those little 3D models of things and 3D printers that a lot of buildings and businesses have, but this is on such a wider scale. You have a house that's being 3D printed. Essentially, they bring in these machines and they layer it one by one uh, of concrete. And that's how they're able to create the exterior walls of a house. And beyond that, everything else is filled in just like a traditional lumber home would be. But uh, advocates are saying that this could change the way affordable housing is provided, at least they're hoping to. So this is home. Yes, this is home. April Stringfield has always wanted to own a home, but she never imagined this is how it would come together for her and her son. They tell you 3D printed house. Your first thought is, what? <laughs> Literally, what is the 3D home? Yeah. Streetfield's house in Williamsburg, Virginia, is the first owner-occupied 3D printed home from Habitat for Humanity. You can feel it, it's just good detail. The concrete walls of the three-bedroom house were constructed in less than 30 hours by Iowa-based company Alquest 3D. A machine like this could revolutionize affordable housing. Oh yes, this is that that is the goal. Company founder and CEO Zachary Manheimer says 3D printing cuts costs up to 15% by scaling back labor, materials, and time. Prices for the home start at $175,000. While there are concerns about displacing traditional construction jobs and some environmental impacts of this method, Mannheimer believes his technology has potential. People cannot afford a home. That is the American dream, or rather was the American dream. We need to get back to that. 3D printing technology is one way to do that. The company aims to build 200 3D printed homes over the next three years, primarily in Southwest Virginia, breaking ground in what is now an empty field. Alquest's goal in creating what would be the world's largest 3D printed community is also to potentially revitalize the town and others like it in rural America. There's nowhere in the U.S. where someone working full time at minimum wage can even afford to rent a two bedroom apartment, let alone buy a brand new home. Mannheimer says the company is partnering with local and state governments to fix that. These towns were once vibrant. And these towns can wave their hands in the air and say, hey, our community is great. We want you to come here. But if you don't have a home, none of that matters. So this is my room. For Stringfield, laying the foundation of her home was the accomplishment of a lifetime. I cry sometimes, but I'm just so happy that I finally have a place to call my own. And, you know, the thing is, when you walk inside, you would have no idea you're in a 3D printed house. It is just like any traditional home, uh, minus a 3D printer that this company is providing in each house. And this uh, 3D printer, it's a little one, like almost like a microwave that you might have in a kitchen, but it prints out parts that you might have for like light fixtures or uh, little parts around the house. So I thought that was cool, but the outside of it is where it could look a little different because you have those layers of concrete. Um, the developers say there's a way that you could smooth it out so it looks the same, but mm. I think that actually you should lean into what makes it different. Oh, absolutely, a lot of people want to be different. Yeah, <laughs> they do, <laughs> and this certainly makes you stand out. Nancy Chen, thanks so much. Thank you.